let's face it, uh, the Honda Vision is not such a good looking bike. Actually, it looks quite ugly. Looks like a lady that haven't slept for a few nights. Behind me, it's the second largest administrative building in the world after the Pentagon. But also what I have behind me, it's this uh, Honda Vision 110. I've made already almost 3000 kilometers in the city with this bike and I would like to share some of my experiences. This bike, it's a Euro 5. It has some, some really nice features which I'm gonna share with you uh, in the next minutes. What we have here, it's the start and stop button. We're gonna explain it how it works just right away after this short presentation. We have the space where we can put something under the seat over here. It's not much, but uh, you can put a backpack, some accessories, photo camera and everything. I don't think uh, a helmet will fit here. Maybe a scooter helmet, a smaller one. This bike, uh, it's also keyless. So we have here the, the key, which uh, actually has a remote, it's a remote control. You can activate it by clicking here on the first button and then you can lock it by pressing on this key and now the bike will be locked in case you are actually uh, moving away from the bike. But anyhow, you can activate it and then as soon as you move away from the bike, the locking system uh, gets activated and uh, the bike will be locked. Here by pressing this button, you can move it and here now it's uh, ignition off pressing this button move it to the right position and now the bike is completely locked from this uh, from this button then you press unlock it and then you have access to the seat also here we have the petrol tank which has about uh, 4.9 liters gives you an autonomy of about 200 220 kilometers also i was able to mount this uh, shut top case and i'm really happy because uh, when i make some deliveries or i want to transport something or i just want to uh, keep my uh, my helmet i can use it I used also the plate, the original plate from the shot, and uh, I bought only this uh, mounting plate, which goes underneath, which was about uh, 30 euros, and I mounted here first, and then came out without a problem, this uh, plate and the shot top case. I was uh, worried that uh, the shot top case will uh, make it even difficult for this bike, considering the weight but uh, the handling hasn't changed so much and uh, it was quite quite resistant the top case was quite resistant during my usage and uh, i use it without a problem and i think it looks also very nice uh, it fits with the um, it fits also with the bike we have black here we have the silver silver uh, aluminium which fits with that one and I think it's also nice fitting to the bike and uh, it brings a lot more utility on the bike what is good that Honda is offering 4 year guarantee and 200,000 kilometers for uh, its bike so that's, that's one of the reasons which made me uh, buy this one 4 year guarantee and 200,000 kilometers Another thing which I like quite a lot, it's the, um, the, the protection which you get. You have a back fender over here, you have a fender which protects also the inside, the filters and everything which is uh, underneath is protected, quite well protected over here. Also, uh, you are protected from the rain. For example, I was riding in the rain and everything uh, was very protected. Uh, no mud was splashed over here underneath the top case and it's it's quite quite um, compact and protected from the rain mud and so on we have this uh, this fender from the from the front wheel let's say underneath here it could use more protection but nevertheless i'm quite happy that uh, as you can see everything it's uh, 
it's inside no dirt goes out to the engine or to the battery or to the compartments the monoshock the rear monoshock it's uh, not adjustable i thought it it could be adjustable from here i turn it but no <laughs> is not adjustable the display offers basic informations like the speed the total kilometers and the uh, fuel consumption over here and that's it nothing more you don't need it to be honest here are the horn the signals the high beam let's give it a ride to start you have to press either the left or the right brake so uh, doesn't matter Let's say I press the right one and everything uh, goes uh, quite smooth. The acceleration it's uh, very progressive. You don't have to worry about that. It's a it's a 9 horsepower uh, scooter and uh, yeah, it's quite comfortable. I was surprised to see uh, because the seat it's very flat. You have uh, quite a lot of movement, uh, you have quite a lot of uh, movement possibilities on the seat, you can move forward, you can move backward, therefore the seat uh, it's quite comfortable, it's not so soft but it's, uh, it's shape, it's shape uh, dictates uh, its comfort and the acceleration as you can see you are uh, in front of 99% of the cars the handling it's uh, just amazing the scooter weights about uh, 100 kilos it's very light what i really like about it it's uh, the front wheel the front wheel it's a 16 inch and the rear wheel it's a 14 inch and this gives you uh, quite a good support especially when you want to uh, when you take the bumps And uh, when you go uh, over the tram lines, with this one it's almost a piece of cake struggling here through the cars, passing, uh, passing from the cars. The angle it's uh, wow. it gives you total freedom. And let's speak a little bit about the start and stop system. For example, when the engine is uh, it's warm, uh, you can activate the start and stop. Now we activate it. After three seconds, the uh, engine it stopped. You can uh, also see a light here, a green light with A over here on the dashboard. And the, now the engine it's, uh, it's stopped. You have the light, of course, and uh, the lighting system works. The signals are working and uh, you can actually enjoy enjoy the silence <laughs> right now how i do it usually i use the start and stop system but not all the time because you don't want to you don't want your engine to be stopped in an intersection or in the roundabout um, when you wait and you are in the traffic so i activate it as soon as i see that the light will last quite long and uh, yeah, I use it like uh, in a hybrid mode. Now I know that the light will go, will go uh, on green. And as soon as you accelerate, the engine starts instantaneously and uh, it, uh, it gives you the power to go right away. I use the start and stop system uh, in a hybrid way. So I don't abuse of it because I don't want to get stuck in the traffic and uh, I don't want my engine to be stopped in the traffic. But of course, when I see a light which lasts longer, then I press it and uh, wait with my engine stopped. The braking system, it's quite efficient. The brakes are working together. I was also um, riding it with a, with a pillion and uh, I was surprised that the, the brakes are quite, quite enough to stop the bike. You don't have an ABS, uh, the ABS is mandatory after 125 uh, cubic centimeters. This light will last quite long and I prefer to have the start and stop system which is great. I don't know how much fuel efficiency you get but when you ride it uh, quite often in the city if you count all these stops I think you can have some, uh, some, some fuel efficiency 
some fuel efficiency and now we are going in the same time i don't know how reliable is in time this uh, start and stop system uh, anyway this bike has a four year guarantee and 200,000 kilometers i was also making a test to see if uh, how much fuel i can i can save in a uh, one day for example of uh, riding with this uh, start and stop system and it wasn't uh, so much i'm keeping all my fuel consumption uh, history i will show it at the end of this video what is the real fuel consumption after 2666 kilometers i don't see any sense of riding a big motorcycle uh, in the city traffic the whole day i think this scooter is perfect uh, perfect for the city perfect for commuting perfect for riding just uh, also outside the city close to the city uh, surroundings uh, i feel so relaxed uh, keeping my foot uh, under here we have also wind protection rain protection uh, mm, everything it's smaller everything it's easier to use and uh, i really i really enjoyed it in the city it's a pleasure to struggle through this crowded crowded streets another thing which i uh, i like it's uh, the fact that my impression was that with the nc and with the with the led led light i was more visible for the cars uh, in front of me at least they were i was more visible and i was uh, i was afraid that with the scooter my my visibility will not be so good the cars would not see me but during my rides during my city rides uh, i noticed a lot of uh, drivers they uh, they see it they see the the lights the position of the lights because we have uh, some fixed lights which are straight the one uh, the one in the bottom and uh, the main headlight it's uh, moving left and right depending how your handlebar uh, how you're moving the handlebar corvette stingray a beautiful car and of course we are always the first on the line and as you can see uh, it's it's simple it's simple easy to use efficient and uh, helps you quite a lot in the city traffic it uh, it's i don't understand because uh, here in bucharest people are putting so much value on uh, driving with the cars and you can see you can see uh, we are riding since half an hour but uh, i haven't seen not one single motorcycle one single scooter i saw but that's it uh, you can see the proportion the disproportion between the the cars and the mm, two-wheel or or a more efficient uh, transportation vehicle in a city like bucharest where uh, everything is so crowded the infrastructure is not perfect by far not perfect but still people are uh, using the cars as their main transportation vehicle which I, I actually don't understand it in 2022 I actually don't understand it and uh, yeah how much time you can lose riding the car in the city and uh, it's 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 a joke how, how easy and how cheap you can you can transport yourself in the city traffic the city it's a uh, very friendly uh, very friendly with the cars uh, they 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 put first as you can see here look the cars are also parked on the on the pedestrian way so uh, it's friendly this city is very friendly with the cars and very unfriendly with the pedestrians for example this one this is uh, Ceausescu's house this one it's the house where Ceausescu used to live here in the Primaveri Boulevard this one it has uh, underneath a atomic bunker uh, 
what I don't like about this signal lights is that uh, when I make for example uh, signal left then here I don't see that it's left and somehow it's uh, it's annoying because I would like to double check if my signal it's uh, I made it right or left you know it's the same the same green light which uh, you know gives you the the you know that it's turning but you don't have uh, you are not reassured that the signal for example now it's left uh, you don't know exactly no and uh, considering my my problem with this button on the Honda NC I would like to carefully use it especially because I use it quite often in the city and uh, I don't want to destroy it anyway it's in a uh, guarantee so I don't have to worry so much about it let's see how can we struggle somehow look how easy it is look how easy it is when you see when you see these gaps between the cars at first you don't have the impression that you can do it you don't have the impression that you can pass it but when you do you you feel wow i, I really did it it's so easy to struggle after all i don't know if you know lately that uh, the gas prices uh, <laughs> have increased dramatically all over europe due to this ukraine crisis yeah now we're gonna refuel we have this also this space to keep the the, um, the cap from the petrol tank not to lose it oh the price it's uh let's see eight eight romanian lay that's about uh, how much 1.6 1. 1.6 uh, euros no 1.7 which is uh, acceptable but uh, we don't have to think so much about this uh, fuel consumption when we are riding this bike right <laughs> so uh, doesn't matter it can be two euros come on three euros make it three euros make it three euros and uh, we're still gonna ride this bike cheap it's a quite a good investment if you are riding quite a lot in the city traffic 4.2 liters almost all right the acceleration is quite good check out how fast it goes uh, to 60 60 kilometers maximum uh, which i did was about 100 kilometers per hour without the top case and about 90 95 kilometers per hour with the top case it was the maximum speed which i uh, i was managed to make it's depending quite a lot on some factors like the wind the wind it's uh, influencing quite quite uh, much this uh, this bike's uh, speed and you can feel the wind with this bike which is very light uh, and especially when you have a top case you can definitely feel the wind the side wind the front wind but still this bike it's very slim very slim and uh, it has it's quite aerodynamic i i noticed uh, it's it's like a narrow <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mosquito and check out how fast the bike goes and we can overpass maybe this Dacia we are in front of the Dacia Duster but no a little bit faster the Dacia Duster <laughs> but uh, let's see who's faster now I think uh, yeah we are a little bit <laughs> I'm very sorry doesn't matter your power your car's power in the city you're always always be slower than a, than a bicycle than a scooter than a moped at anything though even with a bus if you are you are slower slower no that's the thing let's see a little bit how this bike is handling uh, the uphill we have uh, here a small bridge i haven't have uh, so many issues regarding climbing any any bridge or uh, you know it's uh, 
Okay, it uh, loses a little bit of power, especially when you have the pillion, but still uh, it doesn't uh, encounter any problem, big major problems. The 16 inch front wheel makes a huge difference. I was thinking to have the Forza 125 or the, sorry, the um, PCX 125, but the PCX has a 14 inch wheel. But this one with a 16 inch and 14 inch in the rear, it, uh, I think it's the perfect combination. When you take over these bumps, uh, they make a huge difference, believe me. Even this small, uh, small, uh, small bumps over here, it takes over. Even though the suspension, it's basic. It's, uh, I think it's uh, one of the cheapest suspension uh, possible they put on this bike. But even like that, uh, it, it takes over these bumps, you don't feel them. Sometimes I have the, the, the uh, impression that this, this bike is even more comfortable than DNC sometimes. The suspension is uh, even softer. <laughs> yeah, this bike, uh, it's anyway not so noisy, so uh, you cannot even scare a pigeon with it. Nothing, maybe a fly. You could scare a fly with a exhaust. This is not the purpose, but it gives you, you know, it gives you discomfort. Sometimes I have the feeling that I'm not even riding this this bike. I have the feeling that uh, somehow it uh, it uh, transports me. <laughs> I just uh, I just uh, put myself on it, and it just transports me where I need to go. As a downside. Uh, when you want to overpass, you have to really think before because uh, overpassing uh, is not like you're overpassing with a motorcycle. The power is very, very progressive. It starts uh, very slow at the beginning and step by step uh, it develops. So it accelerates, but you know, as it's this uh, continuous variable transmission, uh, you have this uh, momentum. It's which is very slow at the beginning and then comes this uh, power momentum which uh, becomes uh, more pronounced as soon as the the throttle it's uh, you gain some some uh, rpms now the speed has decreased uh, with 10 percent 15 percent you can you feel it you feel it when you when you go um, uphill i don't know uh, what more can you wish for uh, in the city more power i don't think is necessary we're gonna test them to see uh, how reliable is this bike over time yeah i uh, i was expecting a, a, a little bit a lower fuel consumption i will share with you my full consumption the real fuel consumption at the end of this video to show you exactly how much this bike uh, consumed in terms of gasoline starting from zero kilometers so I have the full consumption fuel consumption history and I'm gonna share with you at the end yeah the Honda Vision 110 so far I uh, it um, has overpassed my expectations especially uh, especially because I was using it quite a lot and it was very useful in in the city especially in bucharest where the city it's uh, it's a total disaster i like the fact that it's very simple it's very quiet it does its job you are somehow protected by the rain even a little bit protected uh, from the um, from the wind and the rain in front at the legs the biggest achievement is that I was able to mount this top case which helps me quite a lot in my deliveries and not only I can put my, my helmet and put uh, everything, uh, go to shopping for example. Uh, it has quite a good protection over there. And uh, let's speak a little bit about here, this, this dashboard part. There is another space, there is another uh, compartment which is located here and uh, yeah you can place here i don't know if you are a smoker two packages of cigarettes some keys an external battery uh yeah you can place it here it's uh, locked we have this hook 
for for uh, for a bag on this part and uh, if everything goes down electronically you have this manual possibility to open the uh, to open the seat and uh, this is the spot where you will introduce your manual key regarding the wind protection uh, I saw on other uh, other guys that are installing a Puig or a GV windshield at the moment because I plan to ride this bike mostly in the city uh, traffic and the summer uh, at the moment in the next months I'm not planning to buy uh, an additional windshield but uh, let's see the wind protection uh, it's uh, satisfying for me at the moment I don't feel the need for a windshield but who knows uh, in the cold days in the autumn for example it will be nice to have uh, some rain protection why not the tires which uh, this bike came from the factory are the Chinese one Shin Shin something like that Han Shin Hany Shin it's uh, 80, 90, 16, 80, 90, 80 over 90, 16. Uh, on this size, on the front, you can find quite a lot of um, quite a lot of uh, tires options, including a Michelin tire, which is uh, very good for the winter. Actually, a snow tire, a mud and snow tire from Michelin. You can uh, you can adjust it here on this uh, wheel size, and on the back we have 90, 90, 40. 1990 14 sorry which is uh, also this one it's made in Taiwan sorry it's not Chinese it's uh, Vietnamese Hang Shin because uh, this bike it's manufactured in uh, in Vietnam Honda Vietnam Co Limited you can see here for these tire sizes a lot of option including mud and snow including rain tires including snow tires if you like uh, we have here regarding the maintenance we have uh, 0.7 liters for the uh, oil this is how much oil um, fits over there there is also some uh, oil 0. Point something over here on the left side uh, for the rear wheel another thing which i i love it i liked about this bike are the service intervals for example for the oil there are 6000 kilometers the uh, air filter it's about 18000 and for the uh, belt belt and the uh, rolls over there the rings belt and the rings uh, we have uh, 25000 kilometer service interval which i think it's quite amazing i know some uh, crazy guy who did the uh, 50000 kilometers on uh, pcx 125 with the original belt but i'm not gonna do that but still 25000 kilometers uh, for the belt it's quite a good uh, quite a good service interval i like also the the quality of the of the manufacturing uh, quality also i like that i can ride also with the pillion it's very nice the the quality it's quite good overall I like it let's take a look the finishing it's it's very nice quite nice over here nice finishing nice color if you ask me dashboard overall there are there are nice materials over here you know the grip from the from the the grip from the handlebars it's quite nice quite good I'm planning of course in the winter to have some uh, some uh, wind protection some rain protection uh, something from uh, Tucano Urbano I'm planning to to mount all this crazy stuff over here with the leg protection hand protection and everything to be able to ride this bike even in the winter with a high high comfort as high as possible i want to speak a little bit about the light the light uh, it's i will say it's quite poor i'm not hiding it's quite poor the light it would have been amazing to have some headlights this um, h4 i think it's this light but uh, yeah it's it's basic it's very basic uh, would have been nice to have an option to change it i think at the moment i leave it like that 
as mentioned before uh, I like the shape of the seat it's also very nicely done over here and uh, it's not so soft actually it's quite uh, quite hard over here but the shape of it makes it quite comfortable you can move yourself from this this position over here especially in this part and it gives you a lot of a lot of uh, movement gives you a lot of movement possibility and therefore uh, it's quite comfortable also when you are with the pillion the pillion gets all this part and you have a lot of space to move back and forward and to relax your feet and your uh, feet angle so uh, very well done with the seat I like it I'm not planning to change it or to to modify it uh, somehow at least not for the moment what I forgot to mention is that we have also a rear brake uh, handbrake so to speak which will action the rear uh, wheel and uh, to to make it active you just press the brake put up this lever and then the wheel it's blocked and to unlock it you just press one more time the wheel has to be adjusted in order for this button to work so make sure that this nut it's tightened uh, properly so this uh, this uh, parking brake it's working now it's time to find out exactly how much these bikes uh, consumes in terms of fuel let's see exactly what was this uh, bike's fuel consumption in the last 2700 kilometers I'm using an app called Sprint Monitor and here you can place your uh, fuel consumption each time you refuel at a gas station. Since the beginning uh, I had a fuel consumption of uh, 2.34, 2.41 as you can see here on the right side. 2.31 was one of the lowest then uh, grow up to 2.54, 2.50, 2.52 then back to 237, 243, 245, 237, 251 and so on. I was using the bike mostly for deliveries and exclusively in the city traffic with my top case on, uh, carrying uh, also load and riding with a pillion. So it was ac actually it was a maximum load I could put on the bike and as you can see there is also a graphic over here with the fuel consumption up to 2500 kilometers uh, as you can see it varies and the average is around 2.42 liters per 100 kilometers as you can see on the top uh, top side i think it's a decent more than a decent fuel consumption the fuel cost it's uh, 3.38 euros per 100 kilometers i don't know uh, i'm looking forward to see your results because i cannot compare it uh, there are only four people which are using this uh, this app the sprint monitor right now i am on a second position there is someone with a better fuel consumption than mine but nevertheless uh, these are the results i will keep monitoring uh, the fuel consumption also for the future and i come back to you with other results so far 2.42 liters if you have any questions uh, regarding this bike just leave me a short uh, comment on the comment section below if you are an owner of this bike please leave me a short comment in the comment section because i will uh, i would like to know you and I would like to, uh, to check out your experience about this bike. If you are an owner, just leave a short comment down below. Thank you so much for staying with me until the end of the video. Until next time, bye bye.